Good afternoon. Today you are here at CBC in Bulawayo where we have Veritas College Springs versus CBC Bulawayo. Today I will be your commentator Sasha Wilson and Sean Mutazu here. Brought in conjunction by the CBC Media Club and Kaya's TV. What an atmosphere here today at CBC. We have an overcast weather. They're going to make a good day for hockey. Well, on day two of the Inter CBC games, Veritas College playing yesterday and drawing two all with the CBC second team. Today will be their matchup against CBC Bolero's first team. They won 7 0 yesterday against the second team. A great atmosphere here today at CBC as Veritas College Springs start with the ball and CBC Blue to pick sides. And that is how we start the game today. Oh, what a steal there by Daniel. Daniel Dip currently being the 2023 CBC Blue head boy. Looks like we have a first foul. That should be a foot against College Springs Veritas. Slight delay there as the ball was hit over bounds there on a slight deflection. Looks like Veritas College Springs to take a 16. Oh, they're stolen in the midfield by the skipper, Justin Stain. And he continues to drive there. And oh, it looks like we have a... Oh, it looks like we have a foot in favor for college. Saxon Perican to take it. He sends it back into the midfield, finding the skipper once again. And oh, looks like we have a foot. 
And that's a foot for Veritas College. Back to Sachs. That's good pressure there by Veritas. Done the counter attack and no, yes, they still have position. And that's a foul. Clumsy there by the CBC defender. And it looks like there, Veritas College is still on the front foot. Overcooked and that'll be a 16 for CBC Belueo. Oh, scrumptious ball in there. Just a missed timing there by Luis Gomez, the CBC Belueo midfielder. Virtus College continue to drive forward. Position turned over to Ryan Winterbull from CBC Belueo. What a pass here to Pranit Dyer. Well taken. He continues to keep the ball and it's a foul in favor of CBC Belueo. He keeps driving. Oh no, too early. We got traveling there. He'll be looking to send it in now. And no, he doesn't. He shoots. What a save. The ball seems to be stuck in the goalkeeper's footing. And we have a short corner. The first one of the game here for CBC Belueo. Luis Gomez seems to be the one pushing the ball today. Eager to see what CBC Barrio are going to do making of this first short corner. This is all about speed and precision. What are CBC Barrio going to make of this? And that is a wonderful push there. Stop by the skipper. He passes it to Saxon. And he... Slight deflection there. Not much of a shot. And it's gone for a long corner. Oh no. Second referee calls short corner. And we have a second short corner of the game today. This could be CBC Belueo's chance to make up for that first one. Hopefully they can get onto a good foot here and get the first goal. Again, another lovely push there by Luis Gomez. Oh, and it's missed. Daniel sends it wide to Dylan Petikin. He's in the D. Will he shoot? Yes, he does. Oh, and what a good block there. It goes out for a long corner. Taken quickly by the skipper. He sends it wide. Oh, and a miscue there by Ryan Winterbull, and the ball goes out for a 16. Good structure here shown by CBC Blur. What are College Virtus going to do? They send it wide. He begins to drive. Stolen again in the midfield by the CBC Blur skipper. And it looks advantage to them. He keeps driving. It goes to the striker and oh what a save by the keeper. Oh, turnover there. College Virtus on the ball. They're up to play quickly. Number eight driving. Oh, there seems to be a foul there. And College Virtus got the better end of the stick there. Number eight again to take it. Oh, and what a lovely flick. It leads to nothing in the end. And College CBC, they get a 16. Our center back today, Travis Pettigan, to take it. He also goes for a flick. Wonderful. Oh, what a control there. Turnover to College Veritas. Stolen again in the midfield by the captain, Justin Stain. Driving, and what a turnover again. Saxon Pelican sends it wide to Ryan Winterbull, who does not receive the ball. Eager to see the call by the ref. And it looks like it will be a card for Ritter's ball. Yeah. 
What a steal there. Pranit Dyer on the ball. He opts to pass it to Dylan Petik and does he? Oh, and he just misses the through ball. That's a turnover to College Veritas and they take a 16. And again, it's stolen in the midfield by Ryan Winterbore. No call by the ref there as they send it back into the midfield. Taken wide and he tries to send it in and no, it's a turnover. That's a foot there and it will be taken by College Veritas. He opts to send it early. Miscue there. Stolen again and they're going to drive. Oh! Missed time there by Luis Gomez and the ball goes out. College Virtus ball once again. He's driving, he continues to make it into the D. Oh, and what a tackle there by CBC Bloyo. The ref calls 16, but play continues. And we have another ball there. It's advantage to College Veritas, just taken outside the D. CBC blew a, a bit on the back foot now. Just releasing off the throttle. Oh, and what a tackle on Saxon Petikin. It will be a CBC Blue ball. Travis Petikin to take it. The ref is having a bit of a discussion with Saxon Petikin and it looks like matters are all resolved now. He flicks it on to the skipper, Justin Stain. Continues to drive down the midfield. He sends it wide to Lewis. And turn over there to College Veritas. We have 10 seconds on the clock here for the first quarter of this game and a fairly even challenge it has been for both teams. That's Prene Dyer on the ball looking to make a pass. You see Saxon Pedican down the midfield. And that is time ladies and gentlemen for the first quarter of this game here at CBC. The score is 0-0. And welcome back to the start of the second quarter here. We are tied 0-0 as what has started off as a good contention between CBC Baloyo and College Veritas College Springs. As Veritas College chose to start, they'll be starting here in the second quarter of the game. High paced game here with both, opp both opposition and home team having good chances. And we'll see what the second quarter holds. Veritas quick to start off the break and Rowan Conson here driving down and he sends it in. Can he find a striker? No. Denied by the keeper. Referee calls foot against Veritas College and it looks like it'll be a CBC Bloyer ball just outside the D. Mind you, the ball has to move five before entering the D. And that is your five meters. Rowan Conson again. Oh, and he fumbles there. He slips a bit. Our oh, recovery. Good recovery there. He'll be looking to send it in now. He made a pass. That is pretty dire. Good dribbling there. And we have a foot in the box. And that will be a short corner. The third one of the game so far. Can CBC Baloyo make something productive out of this game? 
third chance now, third time lucky they say. Hopefully this will be the first goal of the game. Dylan Petikin this time pushing the ball opposed to Luis Gomez. Wonderful push there and stop. Skipper to shoot and a good block there by Veritas College. Going off for a long corner. The skipper Justin Stain to take the long corner here. He looks to go wide to Saxon Pedican. He sends it in. Can there be a deflection? No. The ball does not find any strikers and goes out. This time for... Okay, we have a bit of a refs. Sorry there, a bit of an interruption. The ball has seemed to be lost and they were going to go for a long corner again. Veritas College playing it out from the back. Oh, and it's not so smooth. Back to Pranit Dyer. Can they shoot? No. Veritas College on the counter attack now. Number nine driving through. Oh, and a miscue pass there. Decision goes the opposite way and CBC Bolero to take the ball. Travis Pettigan, our centre back, on the ball right now. He opts to flick. What a good flick to Eric Marshler. Oh, a bit of a slip there and position is lost. Oh, tackle there by the incoming sub, Anthony Glowitzki. Another great tackle there. Oh, wonderful bit of skill there by the number 10. He sends it in and what a block there by CBC Blair. Can he manage to get a shot on? And no position is lost, taken by Rowan Conson. A failed clearance gives College Veritas back the ball. Taken quickly. They're going for the counter attack. This is Eric. He looks up. He sends the ball in. Can he find a striker this time? And he finds Dylan. No. The keeper handles that one. It's back out. He goes top D. Back to our skipper. Goes to Alex. Oh, and the decision goes the wrong way. And it's a Veritas College ball. The game so far being end-to-end -end action today, yielding no results. Who will take first blood today? Justin Stain being an immovable object in the midfield, bossing it as he should. He drives again this time, looking to go through the center. He sends it into the D. Can a shot go on? Cleared out there by the keeper. Veritas College keeper having a lot to do today as he goes to Saxon Pedican. Oh, and he has a heavy touch there and position is lost for a Veritas College counter-attack. Stolen back by Saxon Pedican. <laughs> Justin Saint sends it in and no, it's blocked and denied. As he goes back to him, what will he do this time? He sends it in again this time. This time yielding no results as it has done the previous times. Okay, the second ref is signaling for a short corner. What will the decision be? And it looks like no. We will be having a long corner. Miscue there by the CBC Blur skipper and that gives possession back to Veritas College. Oh, what a lovely ball driven through the center. Oh, tackle by Anthony Glowski who sends it back to the CBC Blur skipper. He sends it long and intercepted. 
heavy touch there and CBC Bloyer receive possession turnover again wonderful play here by Carl Veritas as they played out the back foul and it's college virtus ball intercepted quickly by cbc blair he looks to send it in and he's denied once again and that will be a long corner the cbc skipper to take the long corner of course he sends it wide as it goes to Alex Ndlovu, who sends it in. Oh! And we have an issue here as Alex tries to send the ball in and hits one of the Veritas College players. The medic is currently being summoned to give the Veritas College player some support there as the ball looks to have just gone above his knee as the ball is going to be sent into the Veritas College D. This gives both teams some time to just get a breath and replan their strategies here as it remains 0-0. Zero, zero. The injured player has been taken off and it looks like a substitution has been made for Veritas College. The game has started again and Veritas College wasting no time trying to send it down the center. Position is lost and it goes back to Alex. Can he shoot? And that is 1-0. Goal scorer Alex Lovu and that is CBC Palaeo first blood. Virtus College quick on the break looking to get an equalizing goal here to no avail position is turned over to Ryan Winterbull who sends it down the line to Alex and that is a foot and that will be a ball for CBC Bolero he plays it quickly and sends it to the skipper who looks to send it in and with a deflection there no denied by the keeper position lost again Sent Ryan Winterbull. Can somebody shoot? No. Alex on the pickup. He tries to send it in once again. And a long corner for CBC Blower. The skipper drives once again into the D. He goes for a shot. And that will be a 16. A turnover in possession. What a lovely shot there down the center by Veritas College and it looks like it will be a turnover to CBC Bolero. Travis Pedican to take it and bring it up. Oh, beg my pardon. It looks like it was first foul and the ball is taken back outside the D. Lovely flick there to the winger number nine as he drives wide. Oh, and he just misses the ball and it goes out. Oh, unlucky there and it's given to Veritas College as they are the ones to play the ball in.
and that is the end of the second quarter the scores being one to cbc blow and veritas college zero and we're back here in the second half of the game teams have switched sides and it is currently 1-0 in favor of CBC Bloyer. What can Veritas College do here to get an equalizer and come back into this game? CBC Bloyer starting with the ball here. And this is our third quarter. Right, and that gets our game underway. CBC Blue establishing a press tactic and it seems to have worked as possession has been granted to CBC Blue. And that is the fourth short corner of the day. Can CBC Blue do something with this short corner? This time we have Luis Gomez pushing as he makes way. And that's a good push there as it goes to the CBC skipper. Missed time shot and he shoots again. Oh, and that's just wide as it goes to a college Veritas turnover. He drills it wide and intercepted in the midfield there by the skipper. He sends it to Ryan Winterbull who... Plays a little one-two there and sends it back. Oh, and unfortunately, position is lost and advantage is played. He sends it wide as it is stopped there by... That looks like a new sub who is coming Monday. The CBC skipper continues to drive and sends the ball in and it is denied by Veritas College. And he comes and intercepts it again. What a steal. He's now in the box. Can the shot be on? Oh, and he's just wide again. Two shots in quick succession. Avertus College 16. The number 10 continues to drill wide and it goes in favor of Ritter's College as he plays it early to the number 9 who receives. Good pressure there as he tries to send it in and is denied. Once again, the CBC skipper is on the ball, sending it wide to Ryan Winterbull who decides to flick it on, trying to look for somebody in the space. Unfortunately not reaching its target, the ball is out and goes for a Veritas College 16. We have a bit of a pause here as the ball is lost. Oh, and here it is, Travis Pettigan to just bring it back into play. It looks like CBC Blue have a long corner taken by the skipper. Oh, and it seems like the ball was out of position there and has to be retaken by the skipper. Looking to send it in and no he's denied and it's a turnover what a distribution quick play and 
And I think the referee has called height here on the ball as it seems to be a CBC Bolueo turnover. The referee is just having a discussion between the two captains on what I assume is height. He sends it down the center and a turnover in position and he goes back to the CBC captain. Oh, a miscue there by Ryan Winterbo. Manages to steal it again. And it looks like we have another long corner here for CBC Blair. Saxon Petikin to steal the ball there and it's taken out. And this will be this will be a British college ball. A great steal there by CBC Barrow, but it was a back stick. As the number 10 tries to drive and is smothered there by Saxon Petikan who sends it wide to Pranit Dyer, looking to penetrate the D. Ryan Winterboy here in the box and will he shoot? Oh, and he tries to send it wide to the new player on the pitch, Conlin Gomo, who will be now playing right wing. He flicks it again and this time received by Saxon Petikan who looks up and makes a pass down the center of the field to Ryan Winterbull. The end leads to nothing and re is recycled by the CBC Blair team. The captain here dispossessed by the Veritas College number 10 who tries to initiate a quick counter attack and is quickly smothered out. Anthony Glowitzki on the ball here and makes a pass down the left side to Luis Gomez. Again, CBC Blur trying to penetrate that D and make something of it. And here's a foot now, and that is a good play there by CBC Blur as they try to get the foul. And that is Daniel Woodup. And this will be the fifth short corner of the day. Pushing you'll have Lowers Gomez. Can CBC Blur capitalize on these short corners? A good push there again stopped by Sax. Oh, and it's a fumble by Saxon Petikan. Pranay Dyer there to recycle the ball back. And that goes out for CBC ball. Substitution now as Asher Parsons comes on for Anthony Glowitzki. And Alex Nglovu. CBC player ball here as the skipper's on it. He sends it down the center to Saxon. Looking wide, he sends it to Brene Dyer. Quick string of passes here as he tries to send it through the center. And wonderfully taken by Ryan Winterbull, who tries to make something out of the ball. 
recycled by the captain. The CBC Bloyo camping in Virtus College Half. Foot there and it's a turnover for Veritas College as the number 10 looks to distribute its poor effort and it is easily taken over by the CBC Blower team. Another turnover as it goes and this is a foul against CBC Blower. The number 10 for Veritas College to take it again and he flakes it. And this looks like the end of the third quarter. The score is still remaining 1-0 to CBC Bloyer. And here we go in the last and final quarter of the day. CBC Bloyer taking on Veritas College Springs. The scores are 1-0. Zero to CBC Bloyer. Can Virtus College here dig deep to get an equalizer? Or will CBC Bloyer go on to win this game? CBC Bloyer initiating a press type of system to get the second ball. Position taken over. Oh, what a bit of good skill there by the Virtus College number eight. Oh, and he slips, unfortunately. It's a quick counter attack there. This is Dylan Pittigan on the ball, sending it to Pranay Dyer, who returns it. A quick little bit of 1 2 there. The Virtus College number 10, who's been the major standout today, tries to send it into the box, and the ball is not met by anybody. And that should be a 16 for CBC Blower. Travis Pettigan to take the 16 yard for CBC Blair. He goes for a flick. Oh, met by the skip of the team there. Alex pushing, he's driving forward, trying to find that good pass to find someone in the box. He tries to send it in and oof, just missed by Praneet Dyer. Right there on the left post. The ball goes out and that'll be a 16 for Veritas College. Going through the center once again, smothered out by the CBC Blair midfielder, we have Rowan Conson. Looking to cross the ball, Alex Ndlov who sends it inside and he's denied. Oh, and we have another short corner here as we have a, what looks like to be a foul against Veritas College. And this will be the sixth short corner of the day. So far, CBC Barrio converting zero out of the, of the five given so far. Can their luck change? They opt to change pushes as Dylan Pettikin gets on the ball. Good push there as he's stopped by the skipper, Justin Stane, who opts to shoot and oh! just wide referees don't know how to call it looks like the end decision will be a 16 for Veritas College he sends it wide and it's intercepted by CBC Barrera foot there and it's against CBC Blair as they are pushed back. Veritas College to go on the ball. He sends it in, hopefully looking for a striker. No one meets the end of the ball. 
and Travis Pettigan looks to take it quickly as he distributes it through the center to Saxon Pettigan. Sending wide, he looks for the wide man, Pranit Dyer, who manages to smother that ball. And it looks like a shot on, and no, he misses. And that will be a foul against CBC Borreo College Veritas to take the turnover. A foot there by the CBC number two. And we have another College Veritas ball. Foul once more there and the college Veritas number 10 to take the ball on the turnover. <laughs> Good tackle there by Dylan Pettikin. The CBC Blue at number 10, unfortunately getting a foot and giving position over to Veritas College. It looks like the skipper tried to play advantage there and is denied as he has to stop the ball first before playing. Just under five minutes left in this game and it looks like an end-to-end -end game here full of action. Both teams pushing to get that final goal. CBC trying to look for the second one to kill the game and Veritas College looking for that one goal to equalize the game at one all. Oh, it looks like we have another down player from Veritas College. A miscue shot and it must have landed in his leg. The medics are being called on site now. Looks like the player has opted to stay on the field and no substitution are being made by Veritas College. The CBC skipper just is staying to be on the ball. British College ball here as he tries to take it in the number 10. Just possessed nicely by Saxon Pettigan. Just possessed by Lewis Gomez, the number 6. He seems to be hurt here. Play is not being stopped. Oh, now it is. Just to see if he needs any medical attention. Fatigue starting to set in on both teams here as we reach the dying minutes of the game. Turnover, it's a Veritas College ball.
He sends it in and no one to meet the ball there. Travis Pedican to take the 16. Mind that, sorry, not a 16 but a foul. He'll be looking to flick it once again and he sends it wide to Asher Parsons at right back. Who plays the ball and it's a CBC player ball once again. Played early by Asher Parsons, he sends it wide. Oh, and what an interception. He manages to recover the ball and sends it to Justin Stain, our CBC player skipper. Sends it in looking for a striker. I know there's a foul there and it'll be a turnover. Easy interception there. He sends it wide looking for the striker and intercepted once again. Small spells of position here in this game. So you have to make every bit of position count. He drills it through the center and it's easily intercepted there by the skipper who looks to send it wide to Rowan Conson. A miscue there but nonetheless sent to Alex Lov who tries to send it in. And it's a foul for him and he goes and continues. Oh, referee has stopped the game, no advantage. And that is game ladies and gentlemen here at CBC Blair. The score ends 1-0 to CBC Blair.